Welcome back, YouTubers. My name is Lone Wolf, and we are back playing After Party. I fucking love this game. Um, but I also wasn't paying attention when I left the last episode off, so I don't remember how to get a hold of... What's her name? Sam? The demon. The driver. Aosoth. All the witches spring from Matolf. So it looks like all these are just... they. Um, oh, I have photos. What? Hell yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool. Um, so how do I get a hold of... Anybody want to go to Satan's party tonight? One spare VIP. Okay, ticket if you help me catch somebody. First come, first serve. Why do they call it Bobline, Bobline, Bobline Park, where there isn't a park, or a Bobline, for that matter? False advertisement. Wait, what? Um, I would love to if I could go there. Want to go all the way to the bottom, or take the long way? All the way to the bottom. <laughs> Are they? I think I got to go to where the taxi was, and then I got I can get a hold of her somehow. I don't know because I can't figure it out. It's like two o'clock. Well, it's like one fifty three right now so it's getting hot as fuck yep here it is i asked my buds to all right whatever ah first i izzard zara's okay that's that's demon talk normally people are more covered in blood and viscera but far be it for me to tell you how to you could have warned us we didn't even get in even get in there's a line around the fucking world back there we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have uh, have spares. So you wanted to get invited to cut the line. Yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Which <laughs> tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobbleland Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so... it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So ah, uh, classic case of too many good ideas. So it's like that seems wrong. Guess you got some picking to do. Hmm, which one should I do? Little rental. I've already been to everywhere else, so. Bounty hunter. Or a chick that wants to drink. I think I'm gonna go with the chick that wants to drink. Let's yeah. Try it sounds too easy, but <laughs> Hello, maybe it is. Linda. Uh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. Well, you, you won't put out, so maybe Linda, Linda will. Right? You keep refusing your feelings for me. Why would we be fans? Did she, like, murder a, a deposed baby king or something? <laughs> she used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. So she's famous, right? Yeah, but just, you know, be, be cool. And don't bring up her old band. What happened with her old band? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? <laughs> Next stop, Little Rontalia. Yeah, it's, it's slowing down with the uh, <laughs> the witty remarks, but that's fine. I still love this game. Uh, hey, so speaking of like uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh yeah, and not just records, TV shows, commercials. You know, bus stops have those automated recordings. Play them backwards, and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. <laughs> oh. But Lucifer and rock stars have a real history. It's true. 
something about needing to to scream your ego out into the conjectural void is really attractive to unhallowed spirits, I guess. Is there music in hell, like, different from Earth? Like, has the chronographic and ethnological diversity in a supernatural environment developed unique harmonic genres? What you said, yes. No, just like, what kind of fucked up music do demons make? <laughs> now, every song's about one thing, doesn't matter who's making it. Why won't Tina call me back? <laughs> music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for things. Why won't Tina call me back? Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. <laughs> Helicopter Fuckhouse. <laughs> oh man. Okay, Little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded uh founded right after the war. Lots of okay. relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town. And uh oh carrot the juice. dirty hurdy gurdies just down the road there. Dirty hurdy gurdies. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. That sounds like a strip okay, club. Kids. Text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. <laughs> okay. All right. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a uh, harpsichord and classical trumpet. Yeah, you were uh, you were really good. Thanks. No I know problem, an educational buddy. jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but educational I jam band. Faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson liked it. Yeah, of course he, was he did. his head at least. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Thompson <laughs> was like dead. Tough. So. It was just so embarrassing. Uh, oh, the sealed knot. Getting booed. Or, I'm assuming uh, I can't. Make friends. But kids maybe are just I'm dicks. Just being oh, that's all over now. Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. I mean, what 12 year olds even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music <laughs> teacher that said that, but the point still stands. <laughs> Wait. Oh, his music teacher was like, yeah, no, kids are all douche. They're all dick bags. Fuck that. Dirty, hurdy, gurdy. Uh, yeah, that's where I gotta go. That's right. Dirty, hurdy, gurdy. <laughs> when you can't think of how to name something, so you just start speaking gibberish it's until something there, funny comes out. Lemon man. Hey, <laughs> lemon man. Uh, I'm well read. Hell and ill met. Fuck off. I get enough racist cat calling at my therapist's office. Thank you. All our sincere wow. apologies if we've offended you. <laughs> what the we fuck? Aren't up on the modern descriptors. What? Do you, he? Uh, Isn't he black? Something? That is I can't something tell. Of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle like contraption resting there at my feet? <laughs> I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. <laughs> Excuse me. Ethiopian? How the fuck did you guys die? A, a burning cross fall on you? I don't understand that reference. <laughs> What's happening again? My sincere apologies. We don't always know the correct vernacular. Yes, we mean you no verbal harm. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, we'd be most appreciative. Thank yeah, you. why not? You guys seem, I guess, nice enough. Chained... Tuner to chanters, kick tune. That'd be nice. I'm not gonna be an asshole. They weren't trying to insult. Here you go. Oh, you've done it. A surprise for the ages. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Certainly appreciate it. Even Longinus here is eternally grateful. Keep up the good work. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. That'd be nice. I can almost guarantee that whatever it is. We'll be standing right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Althalos, you're still <laughs> flat. Uh, what chant should we perform? 
All right, moving on, moving on. I can't keep stopping like this. All right. Dirty hurdy gurdy. 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 You can say it five times fast. Uh, cool. That lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is is Linda. Was it a bald yeah, one? Could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's what <gasps> oh. Right. oh, don't be scared. Hey, We're Zelda's the accursed souls of dead musicians forever trapped in this shit house of schlock by that wretched Barone Elvis. Oh, what is it? Oh, she they made fun of her in her movie, didn't they? Skellis, the grand negotiator, I don't know the rest of it. And the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just oh, that was her name. Mile down to the end. Can't miss I can't remember. Be she sure was in a. They made fun of her in a movie. She was like a tiger or some shit. Hey, uh, listen, this is gonna sound weird, but with Linda, can I? I'm gonna remember it later, and it's gonna bother the shit out of me Why? until then. It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know, ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey. If you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome. Yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. The, the prize is in front of you, brother. <clears throat> well, not in front of you, but um, like, you uh, know, it's Joy or Linda anywhere. or whatever the fuck her name is. Not Linda. In the middle of something. Really? Because it looks like you just... This timeline isn't going to refresh itself. Want a drink? Uh, want a drink? I can... Seriously, kids. If you want to chat, the least you can do is get me a margarita. Okay, that's fair. Uh, what is it? What is the the chicken? The overalls? What's her name? I'll no, talk to the witches. Oh, hey, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Yeah, she's staying here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? We're also here for Linda, trying to get into. Oh, yeah, we're huge, we're big, big fans. huge yeah. fans. We uh, we committed some pretty heinous crimes against God Men to see her play tonight. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> us too. I mean, God Men to see her play tonight. So, have you seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs. She's hanging out over yonder. But yeah. she hasn't done an autograph since 96. I'd like to, uh... Scream when you use them. Good to know. I'd like to move on now. I gotta stop talking to the rainbows. Do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Wasp urine. <laughs> I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest blood. She said margarita, right? Uh, the Death Black, Tinderbox, Gin. What is a margarita made out of? What are you, the witty asshole? Our signature La Prose Lager. 16 full ounces of distilled bubo flood, fluid. Tinderbox, Gin, Alpine. She said a margarita, right? Scalding, turpentine, brewed whiskey. Margarita, I don't think, is made of whiskey. Dash of pox, dead man's toe. A Wolin's margarita sounds good. There it is. Oh, I wouldn't read the name. It's cliche to say the room is spinning, but fuck it, I'm drunk. <laughs> Thanks, Wolin. Oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, I gotta wait for her to get a pour to drink. Thank you. Where the fuck are you going, dude? Wait, what was the last drink we got her? Linda likes Wolin's margaritas. I'll That's what we got. One on the house. Oh. Thanks. All right. Cool. What drink? Hi, I'm. We'll get drunk. Yes, I can see this is happening again. Lucky me. <laughs> you have to be a bitch about it. There's no need for that tone. Margarita. Menu says it's oddly sweet, just like me. 
Sure. <laughs> well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. Cool. Thank you. I would love to. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. Oh wow, I didn't Judging know that. By your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would you know, care too much if you didn't. Yeah, I can't say that I've heard of you. Unless <laughs> you're not badly mispronouncing the Lafayette Afro Rock Band, are you? So I take it you're not in town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight, then? No. Nope. What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my mm -hmm. discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. <laughs> the took fuck? a plane rocket ship to Planet Coke and Hookers. But well, they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked him for his house party tonight. Aww. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. And other places. Many other places, hopefully. Why'd you break up? Was this a George Michael got too big for wham sort of thing? <laughs> they were asking, that's why. Well, that and they wanted me to stop trying to rhyme orangutan in every song. Wait, Linda, just... What? <laughs> if you have a spare invite to Satan's party... We Is there a rhyme for orangutan? See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. Ooh. It worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my Ouch. internal contractual agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight, so I can't go. But, and neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They huh. won't let you in without me. Why did you say seat. you had a spare ticket? Sorry if you came just for that. There's no way out of it. Not a good look selling your soul. Selling your soul to Satan. Why on earth would you think that would end well for you? If the second most powerful creature okay. in the universe offered you everything you ever wanted in life when you were at your lowest, you'd be surprised what you would do for that. Nah, I'm not <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. I guess if I was, uh, yeah, why not? I guess if I was. I don't know I what really I'm supposed down. to do here. There's been times I would have sold my soul to the microwave if it meant getting rock hard abs. <laughs> you could also just do the crunches for like 15 minutes a day. Sell my soul to the microwave if I get abs. Oh, that's fucking funny. My uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. He took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just we found a loophole or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. She went for the bounty hunter. If you want to try, you can try. But you got to deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Okie dokie. Oh no, Some more like, oh no. Uh, what? <laughs> Is she dangerous? We won't let here. you down. We'll be back before you can well, that'd be nice. I've been being an asshole. <laughs> Come on, that wasn't fair. Wait until we actually, like, leave. So <laughs> she's downstairs, she said. This is a basement. Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay. Oh, no. Let's okay. just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Then downstairs, that, yeah. Even though that looks like it goes upstairs. Oh, damn. Okay. I belong here. That's all I got to read out of that one. Alright. Um, come on. Come on. That's the only thing. This game is like slightly unresponsive. Damn, and together we're a black house, and we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not right. literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code. Which if you one's us uh, on Picker. in here? It's nope. called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Isn't that an actual song? Excuse me, sorry, don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me, what is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. An audition. If you tell, and I doubt very much that Black House <laughs> oh, appreciates the it. This isn't oh, the bathroom. Uh, this isn't the bathroom. Oh, glad I didn't pull my pants down too early. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, we, uh, we need to talk to Ono. It's important. 
to oh no uh, uh, don't mind him kids little chet nuka choo choos Valak couldn't Chet find the Nuga right Choo -choo's. spoon for his cereal this morning. So Valak? I have a friend named Valak. He's an Irishman. That's not uh, an just Irish hit accent. The pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But else, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... <laughs> we need to get Linda out of char her character. You need to let Linda floor. out of her contract. Oh, contract, contract. Um. We need to get Linda out of her contract. It's uh, it's just. Oh man, I'm sweating so bad. You need to get Linda out of her contract. Why do you need to get Linda out of her contract? It's fucking hot. Speak quickly now. Linda wants to see Mercury Worm. We need to out drink Satan. Yeah, we'll Actually, go with the truth. Try to do the out party Satan thing to escape hell. So I need to let Linda out of her contract tonight. So, so you, you can, can drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. Yeah. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo <laughs> and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. It's gonna be us, isn't it? Easy. You just want someone who can sing, right? Play recorder. I don't know what Linda's act is like. It's music. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should, I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. Property? Was there. Said it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck uh, did she uh. mean by that? <laughs> And whoever's neck is in the background. Oh man, Linda could screw us over. She's just messing with us. She's just messing with us, Milo. That's Hopefully. what humans do. It's like breathing. Onoskelis is no demon child. She's a fallen seraphim angel. I don't know what Once that means. Sat on a throne at God's feet before water was invented. Oh. So don't mistake your place and don't lose concentration either. Consider Linda. I'll think about it. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. Right. Wasn't planning on it. Thanks, Chief. Have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. Musicalists. Musicians? Anyways, um, that's, that's about all the time that I have for this video. I still love this game, but it, no, it is kind of like getting a little dry. I'm hoping it'll pick back up because I, <laughs> I do like this game and I want to finish it. I think I'm just I'm at a point where it, it kind of like, oh man, my uh, power just flickered. Ooh. That scared me. I thought the, the video was going to get cut before my outro, so I should probably hurry up just in case. Um, but, uh, where was I? It, it seems like it's on a, a, what, an egress and a, I don't know, it seems like it's, it's on a downhill, but most likely it'll pick back up. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, bell button, all those bells and whistles, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.